Some of the world's great companies have been created from scratch in recent years from the innovative application of technology. Next up are two old school friends, Tom Hogan and Tim Williams, who've turned their technical talents into art. I'm Tim Williams. And I'm Tom Hogan. We're here to ask for a £50,000 investment for a 10% equity share. Our company is called Loom Acoustics Limited. Our product, Your Wall, is a large interactive digital display system. Using our digital spray can, users are able to play and create with colours, textures and animations. They're able to upload it to social networking sites, email it, print it and use it elsewhere. Since starting the business in February 2009, we've achieved a fast-growing and competently managed business in the UK, selling our custom software and renting our hardware to the UK event industry. Some of our corporate clients include MTV, Google, Chevrolet and Red Bull. We've had a turnover in just 11 months of £116,000. This year we're forecasting turnover of £411,000 and we want to triple that by the end of 2012. Thanks for listening to us today. I'm going to give a quick demo of our software and then answer any of your questions. Thank you. Tim Williams and Tom Hogan are hoping the Dragons will invest £50,000 to expand their eye-catching digital graffiti wall business. You can change the colour, change the size, and it's all controlled from the digital spray can. In return, they're offering a 10% stake. Technophile Theo Pafitis is first to cross-examine the duo. Done. <laughs> Tim and Tom. Yes. So, you've developed some software? Yes. Who wrote it? I wrote 99% uh, of it. The hardware? We've combined a computer that we build ourselves, um, a camera and a projector. Who are you going to sell them to? The way that we've made money so far with the business is renting these out to the events market, which has funded our development to get to a point where we can now sell them. We receive a lot of inquiries, not just in the UK, but also all over the world, um, from event based companies. That's our first market for it. I'm struggling. I'm struggling to see what the long-term market is. The novelty will wear off. Yeah, Absolutely. Definitely. But it's the other markets which are really interesting. We're already working with a company in the UK on getting this into schools as an art tool, so as a credible learning tool. A confident rebuttal from the duo but Duncan Bannatyne looks unconvinced. I don't understand why a school would want this. You know, there's plenty of software applications where children can draw and paint using a mouse. And what, all you're doing is just saying, OK, instead of using a mouse, you use a tin can. So what you're doing is teaching the children to do graffiti. I, I don't really see why a school would want to do this. You'd be surprised, actually. We've had a lots, of, lots, and lots of really good feedback from schools. We were... But are you worried about the consequences? I think it goes the opposite way. This actually gives them encouragement to actually develop their skills as an artistic skill, as opposed to an illegal skill. I don't get it. I can't see why anybody would actually want to buy one. And so for that reason, I'm not going to invest, and so I'm out. It's a first setback for Tim and Tom. Will leisure industry expert Deborah Meaden see more potential in their product? Um, for me, it's all about, is it fun? Can I have a go? Yes, of course. definitely. Let's do but it. you are the artistic one. I'm the artistic one. It's uh, literally, the click on it is almost like you would with a mouse. So yeah. if you click and let go onto the menu and Pick click... colour. Oh! This is the only thing I can obviously not draw. No, that doesn't... Oh, dear. Yeah, you got it. Okay, have I got it, have I? Go back there, two little teeth. And then... Black teeth. Yeah. Yeah, it has uh, drips no, on it. No, that doesn't look at all like anything, does it? What's so, it supposed to be? It, a bat. <laughs> a bat. <laughs> OK, guys, thank you. That was... That was fun. The question for me is, is it enough? Fun. 
Would people pay to do this? Because if they would pay to do it, then it usually means that they put some value on the fun that they're having. So anybody ever charged for it? Um, not to use it, but one of the interesting sort of extensions from it is we also um, print T-shirts live at events as well and print giveaways. So when they've created their art on the wall, we can print it straight away. Um, so we can either give that away if it's funded by the client or we can charge for that. And do you item. have the technology that allows that to happen? Yeah, we rent that out as well. So, so, right, okay. Have I just discovered an entire section of your business you haven't told us about? Yeah, and potentially there's more as well. A nonchalant disclosure from the self-assured entrepreneurs. Now James Kahn wants to know more about the financials. Guys, that £411,000 that you mentioned, where are you against that? Because you're kind of halfway through the year now. It was uh, 110000 that we had billed this year. And what have you got as booked revenue for the next six months? Is there anything confirmed? The total number is around 30000 of booked revenue that we've got coming up. Um, you know, it sounds great from your perspective. I'm not sure, for me, it's a scale enough model. I think it's an interesting concept. I think it looks like a bit of fun. I think you guys will do well out of it. Um, I think the events market is a bit limited. I think some of the other areas that you've discussed just don't sound developed enough for me. And for that reason, I won't be investing today. So I'm out. OK, thank Thanks. you. Guys, let me tell you where I am. You've got a high business that hasn't got longevity. The novelty factor will wear out. The software you've developed is OK-ish, and various types of that software already exist. That, I don't see as an investable business for me. So for those reasons, I'm out. OK, thank, thank you. you. Two more dragons walk away from the deal. But Peter Jones has been unusually quiet. I heard what Theo said, but I have to say, I think his brain is running about as fast as a stop train. That can, am I right in thinking that that can is basically an IR mouse? Um, it has got infrared LEDs on it, yes, yeah, so it, it can be packaged up in lots of different ways. I think your uniqueness is not this at all. I think your uniqueness is what you've got in your hand. There is no reason why that product can't be developed to work off every single laptop and you could actually have a mini spray can and kids can have a bit of fun themselves even playing from home. I'm intrigued. I'm intrigued enough to make you an offer. I will offer you £25,000, half the money, for 25% of the business. Hmm. Thanks. It's a surprising turn of events, but strict rules of the den require the duo to raise the full amount they need or they will still walk away with nothing. And there's just one dragon left. So I am going to make you an offer. I'm going to make you two offers. I'm going to offer you all of the money for... Forty percent of the business, or I will match Peter's offer. Thank you. Thanks. Tom and Tim now have two full offers, but for much more than the equity they originally wanted to give away. The duo's cool demeanour is about to get tested, as they must choose between two dragons, one dragon, or no dragons at all. No, no offence to anybody. You know, I think two dragons is better than one. Presumably, I mean, we want 10%, so, I mean, it, it, how flexible are you on the, uh, on the percentages? I'm about as flexible as a steel rod. Cool. Because I think that the value you get, I just think you need to just have a quiet moment just thinking about that. Yep. So if we, we were sort of willing to go up to about 20%, give away 20%, so if we were willing to, to sort of double that for you guys and give you 20% each... No, not 20%. Hold on a minute. Where's this negotiation going? <laughs> no, they're no, talking I'm about 25% not... Yeah, I'm not, I'm not I'm prepared to go that high. Would well, you want to have a little bit of yeah. time out? Because cool. Tom Thanks. might see that differently. Yeah, well, we'll see about that. <laughs> it's 
isn't how I saw it going. <laughs> or do we go and say 35% and say we've bought it between ourselves? So, yes, we've taken on board what you said, and um, we'd like to try to get you to go to 17.5% each. That's 35. That's, you know, on the company which has turnover is profitable. I think that's, you know, a really reasonable investment. Yeah, the issue is that the value of what we can do is worth a lot of cash. So, I, 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 I don't think so. Peter, 17.5%? Um, I, I, I wouldn't do 17.5%. Deborah's made an interesting offer at 40%. Um, and I've gone in at 50. I would be willing to drop between the two at 45, if you could persuade Deborah to do. Are you not willing to go halfway again towards us to, for 40%? Can I ask you a question? Would you really... No, but... Would you turn down... We would. You would turn because down 40... Look, for t at 45 percent there's, there's a deal there for 40%. We'll do a deal for 40%. We've got a really good company. I love our company. I, I love what we I know do. you do, but you both give away 1.25% to have me in your company. Extra, on top of the 20% we uh, just Extra, away. yeah. You would be willing to walk away. You're, forget you're forgetting the bigger number. It's a huge number. I mean, you don't give away that much to your company, you know? Obviously you don't, but... We've moved quite a bit on We've that. We've moved massively from 10% to 40%. <laughs> I feel like that. Way. I would drop to 40%. Yeah, to 20% to, to get this deal done for you. We'll accept your offer. Congratulations. Are you accepting? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <Good. You're in. laughs> the two friends have done it. It was a tense negotiation, but they leave with the cash and the expertise they badly needed. Well, Tim, Tom, that was quite a nail-biter. Mm. So when you went in, mm. if someone had said they're going to offer you, but it's for 40% of the business, what would you have said? Well, you know, we said it to each other before we went in, you know, no way, we'll go to 20%. But I think everyone has the best intentions. But we and do... getting two dragons on board as well yeah. makes a difference. That We didn't think about that. We thought it would be one. Very, <laughs> very good luck with it. <laughs> Thanks very, good very luck. much. Brilliant. Thank you.